Judy. Yes, but her full name is Judith in honor of not the great patron saint of Prussia, but the great biblical woman who lopped off the head of Holofernes, <laughs> derived from the word Judea and etymologically related to Judas and Jude, the patron saint of hopeless causes. <laughs> okay, well, everyone just calls her Judy. Well, that's shameful. <laughs> anyway, how's her mom? Uh, I don't know. Fine, I guess. We really didn't talk about her mom. Well, what'd you talk about? I really don't want to talk about it, Mom. I'll respect your privacy. <laughs> what you working on? Nothing. It, it's, it's nothing. Ilios, quaris tristi es anima tua, quare conturbis te. Uh... Spero in Deo, quoniam adhu confite bor ili, salutare mei voltus es deus? Uh. Salutari vultus mei et deus meos. What did I say? Open my face, which is a god. Oh. <laughs> oh I, I definitely don't want any hope in my face. Well, I like your face. You're the only one. Holy, what is the matter? It's just, it's just I keep having this stupid nightmare where I'm elected Pope and I, I don't have a name, so they call me Papa Neelius Primus. Pope nothing the first, interesting. I, I, I know, it's stupid. I mean, lay people can't even get elected Pope, but I just keep having this bad dream. Actually, you could be named Pope. Quare? Quid, sweetheart. Oh. Yes, whereas it is true that since 1379, popes have always been selected among the cardinals, but it hasn't always been the case. Wow. Oh, Paul, we studied this in your freshman year in high school in our course on the history of the papacy. Oh, yeah. You know, you need to take your education more seriously. You're in college now. Well, maybe I'm just not college material, Mom. Nonsense. Remember John the 24th? Uh, the patron saint of bad students? No, he was a layman elected pope back in 1024. Right! Canon 332, section 1, simply states that one already a bishop who accepts legitimate papal election becomes pope immediately. One who is not yet a bishop may accept election, but must be consecrated bishop immediately. So yes. you just have to be baptized? And male. Oh no. So, so I really could be pope. <gasps> Honey, I always said you could do whatever you set your mind to. <laughs> Even being pope? Well, no, probably not. <laughs> but it never hurts to try to be prepared. Now, tell me what you've got so far. Well, I keep going back and forth between John Paul III and Benedict the Seventeenth, but hmm. I don't know. How about Paul the Seventh? Yeah, maybe. Or John the Twenty Fourth. Uh huh. Or Francis the Second. That's great, Mom. Paulie. What is the matter? Oh, what is, Neil. what's troubling you? Oh, um, Neil. It was a bad date. This one was the worst, Mom! Now what happened? Well, I, I thought it started out fine, but then there was uh, a break in the conversation, so I asked her... Go on. I asked her... <laughs> who she had a greater devotion to. Oh. I'm getting there. <laughs> Our Lady of Fatima or Our Lady of Lords? Oh no, you didn't! <laughs> I mean, of course I did. You told me it was important. Not on the first date, Polly. <laughs> Never bring up private revelation on the first date. <laughs> She said, 
Guadalupe? <laughs> Mandatory! <laughs> not possible! Yes! <laughs> That's not even a proof, Carlos. <laughs> that was Spanish, honey. Oh, uh, was it? Yes. Well, what, what should I have said? Well, you could have said Namiram, or Indubitate, or Shio. Uh, anyways, it, it just got worse from there. Well, well, at least she didn't say Our Lady of Knock. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, do you remember when we went to Ireland? Yeah, I remember. Golden Rod. Ah, ah, I'm seven, seven. Please, seriously, that's embarrassing. Goldie, there's no one here but you. <laughs> I want to know what is really troubling you. Do you want to know what she said next, Mom? Quit. <laughs> Have you ever considered the priesthood? Oh, <laughs> oh Polly, girls always say that to homeschool boys. <laughs> of Altar Boy of the Year Award <laughs> does not mean you have to become a priest. Well, why can't I just win the Normal Boy of the Year Award? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Paulie, look at me. Look at me. There is a girl out there for you. Ubi. Ubi. Ubi! I don't know where, but somewhere. Honey, did I ever tell you how I met your father? No, I didn't even know I had a father. <laughs> My heart did arise 
when the dust settled, I opened my eyes and I saw you, your little soul, cause out of the ashes, my heart did arise when the dust settled, I dried up my eyes and you, you made me it's whole. not always a fairy tale, but that doesn't mean I can't dream, because when I least expect it, I just might buy the girl of my dreams. Wally, did you just rhyme dream with dreams? Oh, is that not allowed? Oh, honey, did you not pay attention during our advanced literature course last semester? What should I have said? You should have said, out of the ashes your heart will arise. When, when the dust settles, I'll open my eyes and I'll see the bride of my soul cause out of the ashes my heart will arise when the tears settle dry out my eyes and I